After last week's storm, Waltham was the only district in the area to close schools on Friday, prompting questions about the city's public works department. In a statement explaining the move, Mayor McCarthy wrote that the decision was based, quote, on safety concerns alone. Waltham schools have a lot of walkers at all levels. The last thing we want is a child hurt, unquote. The mayor added that high snowbanks at the corners of intersections made it impossible for bobcats and sidewalk plows to clean sidewalks. The snow had to be removed first. But questions remain. Here's Councilor Paul Brasco on Monday's Committee of the Whole meeting. Thank you, Mr. Brasco. Vice President. I'm just looking you know, to share the, the frustration and concerns of many of our constituents over these past few days that experienced horrendous snow removal. Um, and hopefully have some of the questions answered uh, at our next committee of the whole meeting, as well as some of the costs associated with these past storms addressed as well. So I have a request that the director of the CPW or representative from CPW that was in charge of snow removal attend the next committee of the whole meeting. In addition, a representative from the police, fire, and wires attend to discuss snowstorm procedures. That's On my the request. request. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 So, was the mayor pleased with the job done by the Consolidated Public Works Department? You know, can we improve? Of course we can. But, you know, would I like to have not the storm that we had, not the snow that we have? Yes. But, you know, I mean, I was in contact with John Tashin the whole time, and John Tashin had several meetings with his departments to make sure that the people were in place. The only thing that I can say that I am definitely not happy with is could they widen the streets some more? You know, I mean, particularly in my neighborhood, Cedarwood, you know, I, I mean, when I got home, I was on the phone. I said, John, this is unacceptable. But ex moving the snow, we get all kinds of complaints. And, and I'm not complaining, but we get all kinds of complaints. Sometimes we get complaints, they didn't do it wide enough. Sometimes if they do it wider, people complain, said, you put too much snow in my front yard. It's, it's now causing it to flood. So, I mean, uh, you know, they try the best that they can. I put in for $975,000 which 900 of that is for the snow and ice removal, and 75,000 is for overtime. At this point, you know, we have sufficient reserves, but I would, I would like to have Old Man Winter give us a little break, honestly.